in the minor to Pisani of Chicago. Fowler to Koivu, a drive, score! It's been a hair-raising month for the Anaheim Ducks, all because of a peculiar trend hitting the locker room. That's right, the mustache is making a comeback, at least for the month of November. There's some bad ones out there. Did you see Cam Fowler's? Oh no, you didn't see it because he can't see it. <laughs> a lot of guys jump on right away and then you get about a week, two weeks into it and then all of a sudden it's not such a good idea. The look is cropping up on faces across the NHL, including 12 members of the Anaheim Ducks, who joined in in support of Movember, an international campaign to raise awareness for men's health. Obviously, month of October, it was a breast cancer thing, so I don't know who created this uh, Movember, but you know, it's quite... Uh, exciting thing and uh, it's, it's every time when I see myself in the mirror it's, I start laughing because, it's, because it's, it looks pretty weird. And the ringleader for this movement in Anaheim is the man known for his stash, Ducks enforcer George Peros, who shaved off his signature stash at the beginning of the month to join his teammates in the cause. It was hard, I was conflicted but uh, when I found out how many guys on our team were going to be participating uh, I knew I had to shave it and it was, uh, it was the right move because you know again a lot of uh, awareness for the cause. And while Peros has had no problem growing his stash back, some of his teammates haven't been as fortunate. You know, it's something I've been trying to grow since the beginning of November. Um, obviously, facial hair isn't my forte. The worst one, uh, it's got to be Corey Perry for sure, especially when he's blonde, so you, know, you can't even see it. And despite some of the results, the entire team had fun raising awareness for men's health, and some might even keep their new look. It's possible. I think a couple of guys might extend it for another couple of days anyway. Tim has been uh, thinking about keeping it, so we'll see. For the Orange County Register, I'm Tanya Lyon.